Nuclear power plants produce nuclear waste. Waste fuel assemblies must be removed from the reactor core after they lose efficiency. The waste must be placed in a pool next to the reactor for at least five years due to intense heat and radioactivity. Direct exposure to radiation from a single rod of this waste for a small fraction of a second would kill an unprotected person standing anywhere nearby. But the pool at the Prairie Island nuclear plant quickly filled, and twice NSP increased the pool capacity by packing the waste assemblies closer together. Then, in 1989, NSP applied to federal and state agencies to again increase nuclear waste storage capacity. Their proposal? Store waste outside the plant in 48 steel casks on a concrete pad. After a bitter fight in 1994, the Minnesota legislature gave NSP permission to fill up to 17 casks. As of March 5, 1998, seven casks are loaded with high-level nuclear waste on Prairie Island. These casks cannot be transported. Before waste in these casks can leave Prairie Island, it must be unloaded and put in transport casks. Casks that are not unloaded within 20 years must be resealed to prevent fuel assemblies from rapid disintegration. To reseal or unload a storage cask, it must be put back in the pool and refilled with water for radiation and heat protection. Because the fuel will still be extremely hot, pool water contacting the hot fuel will flash into steam. The steam must be vented but there is no technology or procedure that can adequately vacuum and filter radioactive gases and particles from the vented steam. Cool water on hot metal could also cause damage to fragile waste assemblies. The assemblies may disintegrate and cause the waste to fall to the bottom of the cask in a pattern that goes critical. Casks must be unloaded or else they must be maintained. Either way, they must go back into the pool. In other words, unavoidable and essential cask maintenance and operating procedures may themselves result in massive radiation releases. Currently, the only site being considered by the United States for permanently storing high-level nuclear waste is at Yucca Mountain, Nevada. Yucca Mountain is not a good place for a nuclear waste repository. The region has active volcanoes and earthquakes. Since an earthquake in 1992, the water table under the mountain fluctuates quite dramatically. Humidity inside the mountain is above 80 percent. Steam produced by heat from the waste could blow Yucca Mountain apart. Water migrates rapidly through the mountain and the sides of the tunnel inside the mountain tend to crumble. Crystals found in the tunnel could only have been formed in the presence of high-pressure geothermally heated water. An upwelling of super-pressurized water through the repository could kill people all across the country. But the nuclear industry is desperate to ship waste from reactor sites now and wants to send it to a parking lot next to Yucca Mountain. Legislation to accomplish this passed Congress in 1997. President Clinton has promised a veto. Transporting this waste would require 15,000 to 45,000 shipments over the next 30 years. This would create a host of very troubling public health and security problems. And if Yucca Mountain does not accept the waste, it would have to be shipped again to somewhere else. The only purpose for this legislation, called Mobile Chernobyl by opponents, is to enable the nuclear industry to produce more nuclear waste. Security problems are not limited to nuclear waste transportation. A private commercial pilot took this picture. Existing security at reactor sites is for public relations purposes only.